Hey there folks, Caleb Downing with Breek Arms, and today we're going to talk about these M-Block rail sections that we have. Let's get into it. Alright, so the details are in the name pretty much. This is an M-Block compatible rail section. So if you have one of our RG2 handguards or you have another company's handguard, we're not going to judge, but if you have a Magpul M-Block patterned rail section or M-Lock slot, not rail section, but M-Lock slot, these guys should fit for you, okay? Um, basically, we have a three section, right? You have three different different slots, right? This is our short little guy. We also have a five section length one right here, right? So depending on what size of attachment you might be wanting to attach, if you want to be saving a whole bunch of weight and everything, you can get the five or you can get the three slot rail section, right? A couple other features about this, it has a ramp on one side. We'll demonstrate that here in just a second. Um, but that's generally just for quickly attaching certain uh, Picatinny mounts, right? Well, I'll, I'll show you in just a second. Also, they both have a QD slot right here on one side, and it has built-in detents in it so that if you put a sling, for instance, in here, the sling is not just gonna keep spinning around and around and around and get all tangled up, right? It has stops in it, so it's it's only gonna rotate a little bit, all right? So. All right, so let's mount this guy up. Um, when, you, when you get one of these things, right, or you're gifted one, that's very nice to be gifted one, that's nice. Uh, but basically, when you, when you get your hands on one of these, it's gonna come packaged similar to this, right, where you have your M-Lock slot section right here and then your hardware over to the side. It's not pre-assembled, that's what I'm trying to say. It's not pre-assembled. So to assemble it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of this Loctite, right? I'm gonna put a little bit on the bolts themselves, right? Just a little drop right there, that'll do. Take the other guy little drop right there, and that'll do. Set that guy to the side, make sure you don't spill it. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these little wing nut looking things, these little pieces right here, right? They're flat on one side, on the bottom right there, and then they have a weird little cutout on the other side. The weird little cutout is gonna go into the slot just like that, all right? That way it's flush across the top. If you put it in like this, it's not gonna work, all right? Take that guy off. I'm going to hold that guy down so that he doesn't fall off, just like that. Try not to shake on camera. There we go. We're going to hold it down, and we're going to take our bolt, drop that in from the top, and take our Torx driver, our T25 Torx bit, and just kind of tighten it up a little bit. We're not tightening it. We're just snugging it down so it's not spinning all over the place on us, okay? We're going to do the same thing on the other one. Take our little piece, stick it in there, right? Kind of put some pressure on it so it doesn't fall out. Take our bolt, drop it through, tighten it up. All right, and there are a thousand different ways people do this. This is just a simple way that I found that just, it just works and it's fine and I haven't had any problems with it. All right, so I'm gonna take this little rail section, right? I'm gonna make sure that the, the, little, nut, the little wing nut thingies are oriented this way, right? They're not crossing, they're not going this way. They're not like this. This is wrong, this is right, this is wrong, this is right. Right, make sure they're oriented this way. All right, I'm gonna take that rail section, I'm gonna place it down in the M-Lock slot. Now, if you place it in there like that and it's not fully pressed down all the way, your M-Lock slot's not gonna go in very easy. All right, so make sure he's pressed in all the way. Another thing to note is make sure that the bolts that go through are not touching your barrel, they're not touching your gas block, they're not touching anything. They shouldn't be touching anything. But your, your piece should be nice and flush. And now is kind of the tricky part, but it's really not tricky if you pay attention to what's actually going on. You're going to slowly unscrew about a rotation and a half, right, the bolt, and start to go the other way. If you see that wing nut just going up and down, it's not doing what it needs to do. You need to unscrew it enough that when you start to screw it in, it's gonna turn on you, and you want it to turn sideways. So now, when you put that, that slot, that piece in, it was facing, it was going this way, right? Once you start to turn it and you see that, that wing nut on the back turn, it's locking itself in. That's how the system works. So once you've seen it turn sideways, then give it a nice torque, right? And with that Loctite on there, it should hold itself in just perfectly fine. We're gonna do the same thing to the one in the rear. We're gonna slowly unscrew and kind of test back and forth until we see that wing nut turn. And once it turns, and is in line or not in line, then we're gonna give it a nice snug. We're not gonna strip these things out, just give it a nice snug uh, torque, and we should be good. That Loctite should hold it in place.
Now, real quick, let's talk about that ramp we were talking about earlier. Um, this is a Surefire X300, and it works relatively well with this. There's a couple different other lights and attachments that you can do this with, but if you have a built-in, right, this guy, it basically just has a bar in the middle right here that kind of goes down by itself. It's kind of spring-loaded. If you have something like this, then you should be able to take that attachment, kind of place it on the back by that ramp, and kind of ram it forward. And you heard it click into place. That guy is on and he's not gonna come off, right? This may not be the ideal placement for this light, but this is just this is just for demonstration purposes, right? But now that guy's on there and he's not coming off. So that's kind of an example of a quick attach where you can quickly just stick whatever attachment you want on there, whether it be like a bipod or a light or whatever it might be. That's kind of a, a feature of this guy that's, that's built into it. All right, you remember we said we were gonna demonstrate that sling swivel, the QD socket we got. So we have a little QD guy right here. He goes in there, it locks in with those anti-rotation little nubs that we have built in. It keeps that little uh, swivel from not swiveling when it's not supposed to. Alrighty guys, that is a quick down and dirty install and just main features of our M-Lock rail sections. If you have any other questions or you want to look up any information about these things, you can always check out our website at breakarms.com or you can send us an email at sales at As always, appreciate y'all checking us out. Y'all take care.